Here we have the transfer order Excel template that creates transfer orders in NAV all without leaving Excel. The template speeds up data entry by using drop-down options for lookup fields. Drop-downs such as item number and item name pull data from Excel tables linked to NAV pages. To run the map, click the NAV templates tab in the ribbon and click the run map button. The message states that transfer from and transfer to locations cannot be the same. Switch the transfer to location and rerun. After fixing the error, the map runs successfully. Both map runs are recorded in the table on the map run log tab. The map run log gives a timestamp and the raw XML message returned from the NAV web server. Now that we've seen how easy it is to use, let's show how easy it is to get set up. All the setup for the templates takes place on the Smart Connect config tab in the external connection settings. We need to fill out the Smart Connect web service, the domain username, the NAV company name, and the full computer name and port fields. Let's show where we can find each field starting from the top. The Smart Connect web service can be found in Smart Connect on the Setup tab. From within Smart Connect, click the Setup cog wheel. Select the Web Service tab to find the web service URL. The domain username set up specifically for NAV is on the Connector Setup tab. Double click Dynamics NAV slash 365 Financials Connector. Here we can find the domain and username as well as company name. The full computer name and port come from the Web Services page in Dynamics NAV. We only need the first part of the URL up through the port number, so any row will work. In my system, I'll use e1-2017.e1training.com colon 7048. The remaining settings are filled up by default and do not need to be modified. With updated connection settings, click the Refresh Data Tables button and click OK through the message boxes. You will be prompted for credentials to download data from NAV if this is the first time using a template. Select Windows as the authentication type and click the Use Alternate Credentials radio button. Enter the domain username exactly as before and the password. Every dropdown that is populated from these tables are automatically updated as soon as the download is complete. That completes setup and we can start using the template. These are the basics to using the template but there are many options that can be customized. In our advanced template video, we will show how to add additional NAV data tables and customize the main data entry worksheet. To learn more about Smart Connect and your integration options, go to e1solutions.com where you can take a product tour, start a trial, and see more integration templates.